Was? Das ist wirklich ihr echter Name? Let's see what this ride is all about. Hallo. Danke sehr. Dann mal los. Ha, ihr müsst warten. Embark on a journey to discover how the greatest creative genius of the 20th century envisioned and built Arcadia. For your safety, please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet and legs inside the vehicle and supervise your children. Minnesota. Elijah Walton was born in 1900 in a small rural community of Minnesota, influenced by his favorite author Jules Verne. Young Elijah dreamed of being a novelist or a scientist, but he ended up working in the film industry instead. After working as a scriptwriter in Hollywood in the 30s, Elijah and his brother Donald founded their own company, Walton Pictures. Together, they produced many successful box office hits, some of which are now considered timeless classics. But Elijah Walton wanted to reach a broader audience beyond the movie theater. And his wishes were ultimately fulfilled when television arrived in all the living rooms in America. Science always finds a way. And what a way that was. Broadcast in Visiorama, the innovative 3D audio and video system, Architects of Tomorrow became a must-see show every Saturday night in the 1950s. The show was famous for its unique songs, its combination of live action and animation, and the closing goodbye message from Elijah Walton in his prototype electric car, known as the Walton Mobile. After a decade of unprecedented success, Walton Pictures, now known as Walton Media, decided to undertake its most ambitious project, the acquisition of a huge piece of land in the Midwest to build the city of tomorrow, a city named Arcadia. Along with Walton's right-hand man and Architects of Tomorrow host, Arpad Kovacs, the first prototype of the Arcadia project began construction. This small prototype community is known today as Classic Arcadia, or Old Arcadia. Sadly, a heart failure deprived Elijah Walton of seeing his magnum opus finished. On June 3rd, 1963, the world of entertainment mourned the loss of the most creative and talented mind of the 20th century. Well, what about when Kovacs was kicked to the curb? Hmm? Don't you have an animatronic for that? Overcoming his grief for the loss of his brother, Donald Walton took the reins of the company. Under his guidance, Project Arcadia was finished on schedule. American Arcadia's premiere is still the second most watched event in American television history, just after the Apollo 11th moon landing. And the first Arcadia residents didn't even know their private lives were being sold and broadcasted. The success of the show attracted so many new residents to the city that old Arcadia soon became too small. It was evident that a larger, broader, and more modern city was needed. And thanks to the cooperation between Walton Media and Senator Milton Burbank, the Burbank Act was approved, so Arcadia grew and expanded to the size that Elijah Walton had always envisioned. You are omitting the tiny detail that the small print of the Burbank Act allowed Walton Media to lock people up as if they were inside a damn zoo. This is the Arcadia we all know and love. An immense retro-futuristic metropolis inside a weather-controlled dome where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Broadcast live 24-7 for more than 55 seasons. The most watched media phenomenon on the planet. Mm, but it's a negative growth now, Vivian dear. Now that you know the story, you're ready to begin your journey. Soon you'll be accessing your entry checkpoint to Arcadia. 
As we speak, your luggage is being carried straight to your hotel room. There it is, my suitcase. I'll have to get into that room. My grandfather, Elijah Walton, had a dream. To build the city of tomorrow. A dream that my great-uncle Don continued. Now, it's up to me, Vivian Walton, to keep that dream alive. But this dream wouldn't be a reality if it weren't for you. Because you truly are my grandfather's dream. You are Arcadia. You truly are my grandfather's dream. Shut your pie hole, you stupid bitch. Ach, das war doch schön. Es war das Warten sowieso nicht wert. <lacht> naja, ein bisschen Geschichte mitgenommen. Mehr über Arcadia erfahren. Aber wie kommen wir jetzt dahin, wo wir müssen? Und hier geht's dann bloß zurück. Hätte ich aussteigen können, also... Wie sieht's aus? Hm. Was steht da? Cast Room. Oh, schön. Paar Requisiten. The cast member that was blocking access to the ride seems to be busy with something else. Ja, dann. Gehen wir mal hier rein. This must be the cast member's room. Manual override. A red light indicates an animatronic malfunction. A red light indicates an animatronic malfunction. Ah, ich muss das nicht vorlesen. Use your key to activate the manual override. Select the ride section where the problem is. Enter the animatronic number from the selected section. A red light in every section will immediately stop the ride. If the ride stops, the ride doors will open. Okay, dann wissen wir, was zu tun ist. Ah, an attraction always loses a bit of its charm when you see how it works from inside. Not this one. Didn't have any charm to begin with. Okay, in S3 müssen wir auf jeden Fall stoppen. Ähm, damit wir da hinkommen. Und da ist der Schlüssel. This must be the key for the manual override. Nehmen wir einfach mit. Repair Resi. Animatronic Repair Malfunction. Animatronic is... Relevated. Wurde also schon mal repariert, das Ganze. Okay, wait, what? Sorry, ich muss doch noch mal kurz schauen, wie das geht. A red light indicates an electronic film function. Use your key to activate the manual override. Select the right selection where the problem is. Aber es ist ja nicht ein Problem. Enter an animatronic number from the selected section. A red light in every section will immediately stop the ride. Hm. Aber das ist ja nirgends ein Problem. So, wie müssen wir das machen? Wenn ich jetzt hier auf S1 gehe. Dann passiert nichts.
Denke ich jetzt schon zu weit? Und theoretisch muss ja eigentlich ein rotes Licht aufleuchten. Irgendwo. Damit der Ride gestoppt wird. Oder muss ich da jetzt nochmals durchfahren? Mal schauen. Wenn das möglich ist. Ride that thing again. No way. Okay. Hätten wir das schon mal geklärt. Aber wie müssen wir jetzt das Ganze manuell overriden? Das check ich nicht ganz. A broken animatronic from the first section of the ride. Its number is ah. 6711. Okay. Habe ich was übersehen? Dann gehen wir hier in die erste Section. 7411. Was war die Nummer? A 6711. Ah, und da sind die anderen Zahlen. Schlau. Okay, das ist jetzt doof. Das letzte sehen wir nicht. Gibt es irgendwo einen Hinweis? Neun fünf eins acht. Aha. I managed to sabotage the ride. Good. It wasn't worth the wait anyway. Oops. Etwas stimmt nicht. Komisch. Und jetzt sind alle Leute weg auf einmal. Und wir können da rein und durch die Tür gehen. Ugh. Silent animatronics give me the creeps. Ja, hat was von einem Horrorspiel. No, no way. After everything it took for me to get in here, I am not going out through the emergency exit. Ja, ja. Ugh, now I have to crawl inside that duct. Was wir hier nicht alles machen. Ich find's cool, dass das Spiel wie zwei ähm, eigentlich wie zwei Spiele ist. Einmal wenn man, wie heißt der Walter? Ich weiß gerade nicht mehr, wie er heißt. Wenn man ihn steuert, dann hat man diese 2D-Ansicht, also 2D, 3D-Grafik-Ansicht und steuert ihn eigentlich von rechts nach links. Und hier steuert man die ganze durch ein, durch wirklich ein 3D, ähm, durch eine 3D-Welt. Was ziemlich cool ist, hat, hat was irgendwie so zwei verschiedene Games in einem sozusagen. A luggage room. Hmm, my luggage info might be on my Arcadia e-ticket. Better check my phone. The conveyor belt has stopped, but I don't see my suitcase in here. Wagen sehen, Sitz 22, ein Gepäckstück. AA3. AA3. 
A1, A4, A3, ähm, wahrscheinlich 10, 22, oder? Hätte ich jetzt gesagt. in 30. Nothing in here. Damn it, where did they put my suitcase? It's not in here. Nope, wrong locker. It's not in here. Nothing in here. Schade. Where did they put my suitcase? It's not in here. Nothing in here. Nope. Wrong locker. Damn it, where did they put my suitcase? It's not in here. So, da ist das die Zeit. 0900. 1030. F45. Ah, vielleicht ist es eher die, die Zeit. Gut, erster Griff und dann haben wir's. Okay, I'll leave the badge inside. Let's hope I could get Trevor to the Cygnus in time. And then, out of Arcadia. I'll talk to you in three days. <lacht>